On today's installment of Weekend Wang Shop, we continue our month of spoopy Halloween fun and learn the classic theme from the monsters. Well, hey there, kids, and welcome to this week's installment of Weekend Wang Shop. Here's your best buddy, Uncle Ben. Because you guys have been asking for it for a long time, and because I give a damn, on today's episode, we're going to be learning how to play the classic Munsters theme song. It's pretty easy to play, it's in standard tuning, and it's going to sound great on a Strat style guitar with a gratuitous amount of spring reverb. So, dial them tones in, and let's get to work. And as always, you guys can find a full spooky tab for this week's lesson over on my Instagram page at Ben Eller Guitars. Be sure to give me a follow over there, find the tab for this week's lesson, learn it, and then upload a video of yourself shredding through it, along with the hashtag Weekend Wank Shop. Okay, this thing is in the key of E minor, and first things first, let's check out the first lead guitar phrase you hear in there, which is this one. Now what I did right there is I played the 9 on the G, followed by the 12 on the G. Then back to 9. And what you're going to do is to play the 11 on the B, hammering on 12. After this, play the 12 on the high E. So now you have this phrase. Next, you're going to play the 12 on the B, sliding to 13, 12, and then 10. Then you have this phrase right here. which has some hammer-ons and stuff in it. We're gonna play the uh, 10 on the B here, hammering to 12, back to 10, then eight, then play the eight again and hammer on to 10, back to eight, then go to the G here on nine, hammering to 11, then to nine, seven, and nine. So that phrase is kinda tricky because it's got all those hammer-ons in it. Be sure to follow the tab and stuff really closely there. Next we get to the second phrase, which is kind of similar. We have the same phrase as before, but a different ending this time. So what I'm doing right there is I'm playing the 8 on the B, then the 10, then the 10 sliding to 12, and then what we're going to do is to play the 9 on the D two times. Uh, three times actually, then the 11, then you're going to play the 8G, and the 9 on the G. So that's... So now the first couple of phrases are... Then the second phrase... And then we have the little break part right here, which is over a D chord. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing the 12 on the D, and then I'm playing basically a D triad here on the top three strings. I'm playing the 11 on the G, the 10 on the B, and the 10 on the high E, using this grip right here. What you're gonna do is to kind of rake through those three notes three times. And then what you're gonna do is to change to more like a D7 sound. So what I've got right here is the 11 on the G, the uh, 10 on the B, and the eight on the high E. That's that flat seven that makes it sound like a D7. So again, that's the fourth strum through. You change it to that. And then on the high E string here, we're gonna play seven, eight, five, seven, and then three, 
and then jump up an octave to 15 on the high E and play that note and slide down. So that's The next part here is over an A. And we're going to take that same major chord triad grip that we had up here. Well, it's going to be down here in the fifth position. So what I've got here is the fifth high E, the fifth B, and the sixth G. And what you're going to do is you're going to strum through those two times and then go up a full octave. So what this is, is this is the 17 E, 17 B, and 18 on the G. Then you have this little descending phrase after that. And that's the 15 on the high E, 14, 15, 12, 14, and then 11. So that whole break is going to be... And then you're going to play a phrase that's very much like the first part. So again, that's exactly like the first phrase that we covered. So copy all that stuff just like you did before. And then you're going to play this phrase. So this is the 10 on the B hammering 12, back to 10. And then you're going to play uh, 12 and 9 on the G. Okay, so it's... Then the new phrase. Then we have an alternate version of the break that we played earlier with the D and A chords. It sounds like this. Now what I'm doing right here is I'm starting off with that 12th D, and then that same D triad you played earlier that's like 10, 10, 11 on the top three strings. You're gonna play that two times. Then you have this phrase. Now this is the high E string here, and I'm doing some pull-offs. So I play the 13, pull into 12, pull into 10. And then on the B string, I'm gonna play 11, hammering to 12. And then basically, this is a G major arpeggio. 12 G, 12 D, 12 G, 12 B, 10 high E. And then play the A stuff just like you did before. You know where you got the five, five, six A triad down here, then up an octave, then the descending lick. Again, it's copy and paste from earlier, exact same stuff. And after this, we repeat that same first phrase. Then you remember in the middle of the song we did this phrase? We're gonna play that again here. 10 on the B, hammering to 12, back to 10. Then on the G, we're gonna play uh, 12 and 9. And then the very last part is just gonna play 9th D, 9th G. So all together we're gonna have the first phrase. Phrase with all the hammer ons. Same first lick. Then the other ending. We got the first time through the break with the D triad. D7. Octave. A. Back to the first lick. Then the little descending part. Break number two, G arpeggio, A stuff, and the last phrase. And that's it. So there you go guys, another spooktacular Halloween installment of Weekend Wank Shop Down the Tubes. That one was a lot of fun. Thank you all so much for suggesting that one. If there's other stuff that you guys would like to hear on future Halloween horror episodes of Weekend Wank Shop, be sure to drop me some suggestions in the comments below. It can be anything from a classic horror movie or a TV show or even like a spooky video game theme. Anything like that, I'm open to any and all suggestions. So please be sure to drop me some comments below. Let me know what you want to see next time.
You guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ben Eller Guitars or over on my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash Uncle Ben Eller. Also, if you're interested in booking some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons with me, be sure to drop me an email, benellerguitars at gmail.com. That's where you can reach me, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Also, I'd like to give you guys a reminder that if you're into horror movies, you should definitely check out my weekly horror movie review podcast, Dead and Lovely. Me and my main man, Hollywood Steve Spratling, have been doing this show for over a year now, so you've got a lot of catching up to do. Uh, we review a different horror movie every single week and also talk a whole bunch of pop culture nonsense and stuff too. So if you like podcasts and horror flicks, be sure to check out Dead and Lovely on your podcast app of choice. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for another lesson next week. Now get away from the computer and play some guitar. Less clicking, more picking.